hi guys and welcome back to my channel so my name is autumn if you're new here and today i'm going to be giving you 10 tips to live a healthy and productive lifestyle um a lot of the times we tend to not do a lot of these things but i know if we did it would really impact our lives for the better so i want to give you some of my tips on how i try to implement them not every day but for the most part so that i can live a happier healthier lifestyle so without further ado let's go ahead and get started so the first tip that i have for you is to wake up early and i know it sounds very cliche everybody says to wake up early but it is so important because you seize the day you get so much more done you have that time for yourself which is a lot of the reason why i wake up early because i like having my quiet time in the morning to really just wake up slowly not rush and do everything that i want to do that makes me feel good before i have to go and seize the day so with this tip i would say if you're not a morning person try waking up early for at least a month which sounds like a long time but as studies show it takes 21 days to get a habit locked down and make it a habit especially if you have a bad habit of waking up later so try it for a month and see how you feel after and I, i'm not going to say a week because i Honestly, by the end of the week, you may still hate it and you may not still be accustomed to it depending on what your lifestyle is, but try to wake up as early as you can that you feel comfortable and really mapped out the time in the morning to see how much time do I really need to live and feel my best throughout the day. Um, I will say at the beginning, it's not going to be that easy, but as you continuously do it and you get so productive, you're going to be like, wow, I want to do this every single day. The next tip that I have for you is to limit your phone consumption and usage. I am like the biggest person when it comes to like consumption and how much I use my phone, especially to watch YouTube videos. I'm a content creator and I am steadily consuming content instead of creating content and that has really affected me for a very long time to where i became so obsessed with watching youtube as if it was something that i could not break free of um a lot of the times in this society we tend to be on our phones so much and we just pick up our phones over and over and we're always using it and it does not allow us to be productive or the time you may think you have downtime you're really scrolling and checking in on somebody else's highlight reel so I would definitely say limit as much as you can. I know that it it's nice to check Instagram, check YouTube or whatever periodically. But for me, I made a rule for myself throughout the week that I'm not going to get on YouTube until 4 o'clock in the afternoon. And it's crazy how much my time and my life changed so much since implementing this goal just last week. It was like, wow, like a whole new person so productive back to the productive person that i was it was literally like i broke free of something and you should really feel that feeling because it was just like no other it was just like wow i have so much time i i didn't feel so angry or upset doing everything that i need to do like work and whatnot because i just felt like i had so much more time to do those things and i had so much time for myself and even when it was past four o'clock i still wasn't watching youtube and even sometimes i would get on youtube and it's just like i want to get off because i don't feel productive and i don't like that feeling you know so it really was a sense of wow i got my time back and i want you to experience that as well okay so the next tip that i have for you is to plan your day the night before this is so crucial when it comes down to being productive and getting things done if you wake up the next morning and you don't have your day plan honestly you're gonna feel so like oh my gosh what do i need to do your mind's running a million places and instead of being productive and getting the day started and knowing exactly like okay i need to work by this time i need to do this by this time i need to do this this and that today i'm gonna get it done let's get this thing going you're not going to have that sense because you're just so unorganized. The key to having a productive day is to be as organized as you can. And I know a lot of times that may be a little bit difficult depending on your schedule or whatever happens and what you do for work and whatnot. But have blocks of time, block schedules. Like I have a block for work, a block for YouTube, a block for this, that, and the other, a block for working out. If you have stuff like that, it just makes it a lot easier for you to actually get things done and be more productive than you have been always start your day with the plan that's already been thought of if you give yourself 10 minutes at night before you go to bed or around the time before you go to bed to really just say what do i really need to do tomorrow to live and be the most productive that i can and i promise you'll make the biggest difference so my next tip is to drink your water and it is so important to drink so much water so you can feel 
ready to go, hydrated, rejuvenated, and just ready to take on the day. Your body is living off the, excuse my cat. Your body is living off of water and you need it to really be at your best self. And you don't wanna be dehydrated. A lot of times when you're hungry, you're really thirsty. So make sure you drink as much water as you can. My rule of thumb is half of your body weight in fluid ounces and that's kind of where i keep it um of course try to drink more than that but if you're drinking at least half of your body weight in fluid ounces of water i think you're on the best track and at least you know once you drink that much and you get used to it you're going to drink more than that so that's a really good idea so my next tip is to make your bed there is nothing like making your bed and coming home to a nice fresh bed that's clean and kept up and makes your room look good when you make your bed it's just that small little habit in the morning that you do to where you feel like okay i've done this i want to do something else it just makes you feel like you really have accomplished something so early in the morning and it's going to be like a placebo effect to want to do it again and again um make Making your bed just makes you feel organized and it's just that one little task that's going to make the biggest impact in your day and you should definitely make sure you make it don't make your room look messy because if your bed is made you're not going to want to jump back in it let's be real you're going to want to keep it nice and clean and organized so make sure you make your bed every morning okay so the next thing is to try meal planning or meal prepping for the week um i know i need to work on this because we eat out way too much so basically um like Saturday or Sunday, look through your fridge, see what you have, see what you can possibly make, and think of all of the ideas for sides, main dishes, and whatnot, and figure out how exactly you can spread that throughout the week and actually use up what you have instead of constantly buying, 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 or going out to eat all the time. So make sure you're at least meal planning. You don't necessarily have to meal prep, but really figure out what do you need so you don't have to buy extras or, or more of one thing at the store, but you really have it and stuff like that so just make sure that you're meal planning and being healthy and that's how you stay healthy is when you actually have a plan for what you're gonna eat instead of just saying okay we're just gonna figure it out then and then when you figure it out then you're actually eating out okay so my next tip is to do something that you really enjoy and love daily dancing around in your house listening to some music, uh, reading a book, singing. I mean, do something that you really truly enjoy because that will continuously make you feel like you're doing something for yourself. And you know, it's so good to be productive and go, 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 like everybody says, but you definitely need to take time to really truly um, feed your soul, feed your, your life and make yourself feel like you're really doing something for yourself. Um, definitely make sure you take out that like small part of your day or whatever it is in the morning and the night and the afternoon wherever or what time it is just make sure you do something for yourself that's so important a lot of times we just do everything for everybody else but we need to make sure we take care of ourselves so that we can do that so the next tip that I have for you is do some physical activity at least every single day I mean I know a lot of the times you can't do it every day let's be real but I would say try to do at least 30 minutes of physical activity daily whether it's going to the gym going for a long walk cycling i mean do something at home workout my goal is to try to do something physical every single day to where i still feel like i'm reaching my goal and working towards my goal because once you take a day off at the gym it may turn to two then three then four or if you take two days off oh my gosh for me it's like done deal i'm gonna be so unmotivated and i feel like all my progress is down the drain so try to just do something every day and then you'll never feel like oh my gosh i'm off track anymore when it comes to like working out because you're steadily moving your body and you're gonna be in that mindset daily instead of you know oh my gosh i gotta go to the gym four times a week oh i didn't go today I can go tomorrow or I didn't go in two days I can go tomorrow you know like you should just do something daily because I think it says statistically proven that 30 minutes of exercise daily is so good for your heart your health and your body so the next tip that I have for you is to prep your dinner in the morning uh, in like a pressure cooker a slow cooker or even just cutting up some vegetables and whatnot that makes everything's so much easier when you are a working wife or even a mother definitely try just throwing everything in a crock pot a pressure cooker a slow cooker anything like that that would make life and dinner so much easier and then you don't have to worry about your husband oh where's dinner what's for dinner and you're tired and you come home from work so just try to do that and that will make cooking life so much easier and it will make you look like you're so productive if you just throw everything in a crock pot in the morning and then you have dinner voila 
So one of the last things that I have for you to be so productive is in the morning and at night, do a 20 minute clean. This will assure that your house stays clean. I mean, if you need more time than that, that's fine or less time that's you know even better. But I know my house is a hot mess with two cats and a trifling husband. Um, <laughs> <laughs> JK but seriously <laughs> um, <laughs> but definitely try to just get that 20 minute clean set a timer watch a YouTube video listen to some music and just clean up your house a little bit in the morning and the night and it'll make things a lot easier a lot of times what I'm trying to do is wash the dishes at night unload them in the morning but lately I've been doing it vice versa but it really should be like that instead of washing dishes in the morning and put them up at night so yeah those are all my tips for a happy and healthy life um especially productive life and i really hope you enjoyed these tips uh let me know in the comments below if i missed any or if you're gonna try any um that would be much appreciated for your help and your tips um thank you so much for watching this video guys my name is autumn and i really appreciate you watching it watch my last one about how to get back on track i think that would be very helpful and i'll catch you in the next one bye guys